Welcome to the 2015 Rally America National Championship, combining some of the world's best drivers on some of the toughest stage roads in North America. Through eight rounds of racing, spanning coast to coast, across the United States, through mud, snow, dust, and forest, one radio show is there covering all the action. This is Rally America Radio. All right, we're here at uh, at the finish line, 2015 New England Forest Rally, catching up with uh, David Higgins, who, uh, man, this is the one you wanted. You wanted the competition, you wanted the battle, and uh, came out on top. you got to be pretty happy. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. You know, previous rallies, we've all been, you know, looking at championship points, protecting points, or trying to gain back or whatever. But this one, there was no points at stake. It, well, it was just a pure um, speed battle, and... Um, you know, we've we've had a great rally. The car's been absolutely awesome. You know, me and Craig have worked super hard before the rally and during it. So, really happy the way it's turned out. And you know, I think the experience of of being in these cars for a full championship is is, is made the difference this weekend. Yeah. Well, I know you guys, uh, you know, came out right out of the get go and, and set the tone for the whole rally. I think on the on the very first stage, and uh, you know, from then on, it's uh, it's been push, push, push. I don't think you guys have let up yet. No, it's it's um, big. We haven't been go like yesterday for sure. We were we were taking big risks yesterday, but um, this 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 today is the first one out this morning. I was just checking my notes, checking for the bad bits because we knew we were first on the road, but knew we had a fair bit left. And then obviously when Canada's problem it. It made it a whole lot different, but we, we've had fun, and this car works better when you're driving it hard. So um, we've had a, we've had a great time, but you know I'm 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 more than more than ready for all the reasons to come out. Yeah. So uh, you know we're uh, six rounds in, got two left. Uh, you know obviously you know a lot of people talked about the perfect season. I know I don't want to put you on spot about that, but uh, you know what what do we take into these next two rallies? Um, a little bit more confidence again, a little bit more speed from the car again, and you know every time we go in the car, it's better. So you know. I, I've, I've never enjoyed my driving more than what I am at the actual moment and probably it, people often say what's your favourite rally I don't have a favourite rally but I'd say this is probably one of my standout performances we had a plan before the rally and we've we've gone out there and we've we've done what we had to do yeah. well talking about uh, you know this car you got to be pretty happy is there anything left to develop I mean you guys have pushed this car you know to the limits uh, you know is there anything more to find yeah there's 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 bits for sure um, you know we, we know some areas where we can build to get some speed and you know, today even we've um, the engine's been turned back a little bit today just for safety for, um, this afternoon. So, you know, it's been absolutely awesome. And these boys from Vermont know how to build a rally car, that's for sure. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Congratulations, David. Thank you very much. All right, catching up here at the finish line with Travis uh, Pastrana, and uh, you got to be pretty happy. Um, not only your teammate uh, Higgins, you know, taking uh, yet another win, but uh, your performance, you know, after yesterday, you got to be pretty happy with the way the car performed, and you and Chrissy. Definitely, I, you know, couldn't be happier, um, you know, w- with the result. I-, I think that the team really stuck behind me. They just never say die out of do. Chrissy, man, we were trying every possible thing in the world to, you know, to get that a little electrical problem fixed yesterday. But, um, you know, today I was, I was disappointed in myself that we couldn't figure out how to get the pace. Um, you know, we felt like we were being real smooth at the beginning and we were only losing a second a mile. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to start charging. And we charged to where we should have been off quite a few times. We were, I mean, just full tilt. And uh, we were uh, actually a half a second, we were a second and a half a mile off uh, the pace. We were actually further off trying harder. So really need to, to get with the team. And uh, David's extremely helpful. He was my first coach and he's um, really he loves competition and he loves when Ken's here, he loves when I'm here, when Ramana comes and everybody, um, you know, so uh, he's been helping me to try to get, get up there and, you know, hopefully we'll keep rallying and uh, be able to, to find the pace of these guys because it's, uh, it's frustrating not being, you know, not being able to, to run up top. Well, you know, and, and the rest of this year, I mean, obviously I know Nitro Circus kicks off, uh, you know, the fall tour here in the United States. Uh, what's, uh, you know, what's on tap for you the rest of this year? Oh, Ojibwe is uh, one of my favorite rallies as well. I love LSPR. This is my, probably my favorite uh, of the rallies, but I won't be able to make LSPR, but I'll definitely do Ojibwe. Uh, Christy and I learned a lot from this, and we're, uh, we're definitely going, you know, going all out to, you know, to try to be on pace. And I won't, I won't say we always try to win. Everybody here, they show up, they try to win, and uh, we believe we can. Uh, but I tell you what, David is on fire. His speed, his times, his lack of mistakes, uh, it is pretty amazing. It was awesome to have Ken here. Um, you know, Ken's been doing all the GRCs, but uh, still, um, you know, it's first time back with, uh, with Alex for a little bit in the U.S., so um, it, it's, it's tough to catch that, uh, that 75. All right, thanks a lot, Travis, and uh, congrats. Thank you very much. All right, catching up here with uh, Ken Block at the, the finish here at uh, New England Forest Rally. You know, we found yourself on the podium. I know you guys have had some ups and downs this rally, but uh, you got to be pretty happy with battling back to the podium. Yeah, I mean, it was a crazy day today. It was kind of a crazy weekend. We were battling, uh, like, a sick engine all, all events, and 
really kind of sucked here at the end. It would barely launch on the last two stages, but it is what it is. You know, I came out, had a lot of fun. Great to see all the fans out there. Really enjoyed the stages. Would have liked to have battled for the win, but it just wasn't meant to be. And, and uh, you know, I'm sitting here in second overall, which is great, and uh, happy to come away with that. But just a little frustrated, too. But it's all right. I'll be back. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Congrats on the podium. We'll catch up soon. Thank you. All right, we're here with uh, Lachlan O'Sullivan, our winner in super production. Uh, I've got to tell you, man, it was a wild, wild rally, but uh, you were one of the guys who kept your nose clean and uh, solid, solid effort. I think uh, top five outright. Uh, I don't know the official uh, official uh, positions yet, but you got to be pretty happy with the effort. Yeah, I mean, either fourth or fifth overall, first in class. It's awesome. Not a dent uh, on the car at all. We didn't uh, have to replace any panels. Great crew work. Uh, it was awesome. It was really awesome. The uh, car, car was perfect. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, I know you've had that battle with Nick Roberts going on. You guys got to be pretty happy now. I think, you know, uh, I don't know if you've clinched it up, but you got to be pretty darn close at this point. I don't know the exact math. I believe we clinched it against Nick, uh, our, our biggest competitor. And uh, I don't know how it works out with Gary Gill. He could possibly sneak in if he gets the last two events overall. Maybe I, uh, it's, it's a little up in the air. But we're very close to getting a championship here, at least if not have clinched it already. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Congratulations. You know, it's solid effort put in by you guys, and uh, we'll let you celebrate a little bit. Thanks a lot. Definitely big celebrations tonight. Really appreciate everybody out there, all the support. All right. Thanks, Lachlan. No worries. All right. Here with uh, two-wheel drive winner Brendan Reeves. Uh, you know, you came, you saw, you conquered. You got to be pretty happy. Yeah, great result. Like, last two stages, we just wanted a clean run, you know, because it had sucked to throw it away there. We are also worried about that outright sixth position. But really, really good. We put two new DMAC tyres on and had a good clean run. The car today performed excellent. Uh, it was just flat out everywhere and even loved the wet conditions too, so that was really nice. Um, and then once the stages swept up, the car was really good, made some setup changes and it reacted to them changes too. So that was great. And having Anthony in the car and working with such a professional team was really nice. So, uh, you know, looking, uh, looking at the rest of the season, what's, uh, what's left for you? Are we going to see you in Rally America? Are you uh, running some more events in Australia? What's, what's on tap? This car's going straight back to England, but, yeah, you never know. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Brendan. Congrats on the win. I know, uh, man, it was a uh, tough earn this weekend. It was uh, lots of carnage out there. Yeah, thanks, mate. All right, wrapping things up here from uh, New England Forest Rally. We're about ready to kick off some podium interviews and uh, some champagne spray. But i got to tell you, thank you all for listening in to Rally America Radio this weekend. Uh, you know, obviously uh, the man of the hour, David Higgins, taking home that big win. Your other podium finishers, Travis Pastrana, as well as Ken Block. Lachlan O'Sullivan, an absolute amazing drive in super production to take the win. Same with Brendan Reeves, a great win. So um, looks like our... Uh, Looks like our B-Spec winner, he's not in yet. It's going to be James Robinson. And, uh, man, talk about an amazing rally all in all. And, uh, you know, great turnout by fans. Uh, Sunday River Resort putting, uh, putting on just an amazing uh, event. Uh, this is absolutely one of, uh, one of the biggest, best rallies of the year. I would put this up against uh, just, about, uh, just about any event uh, in the world outside of the WRC. Just uh, absolute uh, uh, amazing. Uh, any of you ever even on the fence about possibly coming and doing it, uh, you know, or, or coming and spectating, uh, put it on the calendar next year. But uh, on behalf of Rally America, um, everybody at iRally, uh, this is Jim Beaver. We're signing off here from Sunday River Resort. And uh, hopefully we'll have uh, maybe some winners and, uh, and uh, you know, maybe some losers on the Down and Dirty Radio Show on Monday. So uh, thanks for uh, staying tuned. We'll be back at your Ojibwe Rally next month. Uh, as always, game on. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race-ready 305-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI. It's not a sibling rivalry. It's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally.